welcome back to the exhibit hall for the Eyes on Retina 2023. I'm your exhibit hall moderator, Dr. Dan Epstein. And today I'm really lucky to be joined by Dr. Sharam Dinesh. Dr. Dinesh, how are you doing today? Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, glad to be here participating in this event. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for joining me. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your practice. How many locations do you have? Yes, uh, so we have uh, uh, four locations currently uh, with uh, one more location opening up uh, in the next few months. And uh, I've been in practice in, in the Phoenix area for about 20 years as a retina specialist. And uh, there are five retina specialists currently in our group of retina specialists. Okay, so clearly you've been very busy these past few years. How long have you been using the eye care aid in your practice? I was introduced to um, aid and camera about eight years ago, and it uh, almost instantaneously revolutionized uh, my practice. Um, it has become an essential part of the uh, workflow for the patients. And uh, every patient that we see uh, who comes in for a, an examination will have uh, an aid and picture done. And the alien pictures are uh, already up and available on the computers in each exam room once the doctor walks in and it has added uh, uh, tremendous value uh, to our examination and quality of care in our practice. So, you know, I would imagine that since you have this already part of your workflow, that's really streamlined your office and your examination here. Um, what, what do you think about the image quality of the eye care aid and how does it aid in your diagnosis and treatment plans? I find Aiden to have uh, the best image quality, but not only the best image quality, I find it superior even to clinical exam. And what I mean by that is that um, we can find the smallest microaneurysms on Aiden uh, image uh, that, that would be difficult to see on an examination of the slight man with a 78 diopter lens, especially patients who are uh, maybe have this smaller pupils, maybe they have cataract, maybe they're older and they can't open their eyes. Uh, it, it is uh, much, uh, the aiding uh, image is much more sensitive to picking up small findings than even our examination. So it really has increased the quality of care in our practice. Now, I think those are all great points. I think during training, we all learned that our clinical exam is kind of the gold standard, but really technology has gotten to a point where it's doing one step better than what we can do just with a slit lamp or indirect biomicroscope. Now, what drove your decision to upgrade the aid into the ultra-wide field? Well, um, the regular aid in that we purchased initially uh, is, is the best thing that happened for the macula, for macular disease such as macular degeneration and uh, most of the findings in diabetic retinopathy. But with the ultra wide field, now we're able to go much farther into the peripheral retina and find, for example, neovascularization of the retina in the periphery in diabetic retinopathy. Um, we're able to document and find uh, uh, lesions of the choroid such as nevi or, or tumors and also many retinal tears and, and document retinal detachment. So it certainly has added uh, 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 great abilities uh, and capabilities uh, uh, that we didn't have before. Yeah, so using the ultra wide field lens, now that you're able to look at more peripheral lesions, and I think that's in line with a lot of the new research in diabetic retinopathy, age-related macular degeneration, where we're not just looking at the posterior pole, we're looking at more peripheral lesions and seeing how that can alter our management. Have you found that using the ultra wide field lens has impacted uh, your management of these patients? It certainly has. Um, um, certainly we're able to diagnose and, and, and monitor these conditions better. Um, previously we did, uh, for example, fundus drawings uh, for lesions, but being able to take a wide field photo and compare images side by side is, uh, is definitely a big advancement. In addition to that, being able to show that to patients, to, to show, for example, the response to treatment, to show that their neovascularization is regressing with injections, for example, it really helps patients understand why we treat them. And it helps them com um, with better compliance so that they, they're more encouraged to come for their treatment. So there have been many different benefits 
uh, coming from this wide field uh, viewing of the fundus. That's a really good point on an education tidbit that, you know, they say an image is worth a thousand words. I think it really does help uh, with your education, help streamline that process, in addition, just providing better care to our patients. So thinking about the post-pandemic era, how important is eye care aidance automation for image capture and multi-field captures? Has it allowed other staff to assist with imaging? Absolutely. So from the staff point of view, uh, this is uh, much easier to use than, than, try to, uh, than traditional cameras that we try to focus on the retina and required much more expertise as a photographer. So we are able to um, have our, uh, a wider range of our, uh, our employees uh, perform this. During COVID, also it allowed us to uh, have more distance from patients, so reduce uh, chances of transmission of virus. And from a patient point of view also, uh, on a daily basis, we get feedback uh, on how, how much easier it is for them uh, to be able to, to do this test. And uh, especially for older patients, we see a lot of um, elderly patients who have difficulty uh, sitting and focusing and, and positioning at uh, the camera. So having this automated uh, ability really helps uh, with those patients as well. Yeah, I think the IK Adon is a wonderful instrument, you know, between the fact that you get an ultra wide field imaging, the automation capability, it's really very difficult to just go back to your standard photography images nowadays. I always have a lot of trouble looking at the standard, you know, 45 uh, degree images nowadays. It's really a new generation of imaging out there. Well, Dr. Nadesh, thank you so much for joining me here in the exhibit hall. To our attendees, thank you for your time and I hope you will uh, exhibit, uh, experience some of the other exhibit hall uh, sessions here. And thank you again. Thank you very much for allowing me to participate. Thank you. No, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for sharing your expertise here.